cylinder. A cylinder is shaped like a can of soup. It has an identical top and bottom, and it has a rectangular body. Now think about a can of soup. If you peeled off the soup label, what would that look like? It would look like a rectangle that had been wrapped around the can. So if we break our cylinder up in parts, circular top, circular bottom, rectangular body, or rectangular middle. The volume then of a cylinder, we again we said was the area of its base. Its base is a circle, so the area of a circle, which we haven't really talked about yet, is pi r squared times its height, which is h. So pi r squared h is the, is the volume of a cylinder. The surface area, now think about the can, has area on the top and bottom, which are the same, and then it has this area of the body. So the area of the top would be the area of a of a circle, pi r squared, and we're going to double that to account for the top and bottom. And then the area of the rectangular body, the area of a rectangle is simply length times height. So we have 2 pi r squared plus length times height. And we also know that the length of the rectangle is equal to the circumference or the distance around the can of soup. So we could say 2 pi r squared plus length times height, or we could say 2 pi r squared plus circumference times height. And we'll define these terms in just a minute.